Hi everyone, I've uh, been asked by Simple Sci on Twitter, that's C-Y-M-P-L-E-C-Y on Twitter, uh, how to make a persistence of vision system uh, with uh, a shrimp. So this is uh, drawing Simple Sci in the air, it may not come out so well on the video, too bad. Um, problem is this thing has no sense of which direction it's going so it just keeps painting the same characters over and over in the air. It's good enough, it's a bit of fun. Um, where we're heading uh, in the longer run is to have an improvised and very cheap tilt switch that I cooked up recently uh, to do the job of sensing which direction it's moving in at the time. So the circuit itself is literally just four LEDs uh, wired without any resistors which is breaking all the rules. Uh, it's, there's a crystal uh, running the Atmega chip without any capacitors which is also breaking all the rules. Um, fundamentally it's just a crystal, an Atmega chip and uh, power provided to the chip um, and ground provided to the LEDs. Uh, there's a, a capacitor here at the top which has uh, been used um, because I recently wired, uh, wired it up to program it so basically wire uh, the wires in along here according to the diagram at shrimping.it um, so in the longer term we would like to have a more reliable kind of persistence of vision circuit and this is a circuit which uses um, a UK coin it's a UK one pence which has a copper exterior and four pins uh, which is sandwiched between uh, two pieces of strip board. So that basically creates four buttons um, and when the coin closes and connects the two, any two pins, uh, then that closes together just like a button does. Um, we've got that soldered uh, to break out to a, a female header here. So just to show how that works, um, here's a shrimp uh, which has, uh, at the moment, it's got a, an LED array attached to it. And um, if I just plug the um, sensor in, so the tilt sensor is running, it's running a little diagnostic program at the moment, which just tells you which direction uh, the coin is currently falling and uh, which pair of pins is being closed together. So. Hopefully soon we'll be able to combine the two things, uh, get the time to write some code that uses the tilt switch uh, and that draws the characters backwards and forwards, and possibly up and down as well because we have four different directions. You could have an X-shaped uh, LED array, it could paint in any direction at all. So um, yeah, that's just a, a sample of, of what's going on and uh, hopefully there'll be more to tell soon. Thanks for listening everyone.